Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering exponents of decimals, and we're going to go through the four examples on your screen in order to help you get this down. So let's jump right into number one, where we have two tenths to the power of four. And this means we're going to multiply that two tenths by itself four times because that's what the exponent indicates to do. So in other words, let's take the two tenths and expand it out four times. And now we are ready to multiply in order to solve. So I like to think of it like this, two times two times two. I took the decimal out in order to solve and we'll put it back in at the end. So two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. Now a whole 16 is not the answer to this problem. We need to take a look at the original expanded out two tenths and see how many digits are behind or to the right of a decimal. And that's how many digits that our answer needs to have behind or to the right of the decimal. So we have one digit behind the decimal, two, three, four. So that means our 16, we need four digits to the right or behind a decimal. So I'm going to rewrite my 16 here and move the decimal in four times. That will give me four digits to the right or behind that decimal. So our answer to two tenths to the power of four is actually 16 10 thousandths. Let's do a few more here in order to uh, help move us along in our understanding of this. So number two, we have four hundredths to the power of three. So let's expand our four hundredths out three times because that's what our exponent tells us to do with the four hundredths. Now let's think of it as a whole four. Four times four times four, and then we'll put the decimal back in at the end. So four times four is 16, times four is 64. Let's rewrite our 64 over to the side here and place the decimal in the correct spot. So let's see how many digits are behind or to the right of the decimal in our original uh, problem. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our answer needs six digits behind the decimal. So we'll put our decimal here at the end of 64 and we need to move it in to the left six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's fill with zeros. So our answer, I'm going to write at the bottom here. We have four zeros and then a 64. All right, number three, five tenths to the power of three. So let's expand our five tenths out three times. All right, so essentially we have five times five times five, and we can put the decimal in at the end. So five times five is 25, times five is 125. So let's see how many digits are to the right of the decimal in the original problem. One, two, three. So we can move this one in. One, two, three. That way, we have three digits to the right of the decimal in our answer. It matches the original problem. So we get 125 thousandths. 
And lastly, we have 1 and 2 tenths to the power of 2. So 1 and 2 tenths times 1 and 2 tenths. Expand it out 2 times. So we can think of this as 12 times 12. Take the decimal out. That gives us an answer of 144. But our original problem was not 12 to the power of 2. It was 1 and 2 tenths to the power of 2. So we need to place our decimal. So let's take a look at our original problem. How many digits behind the decimal or to the right you can think of it as? 1, 2. So we need to move our decimal in twice so our answer has two digits to the right of the decimal. 1, 2. So our decimal is between the 1 and the 4, and we get an answer of 1 and 44 hundredths. So there you have it. There's how you work with exponents of decimals. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.